Here is how you can get smooth skin without losing details. And we are going to be using the focus separation method and touch a bond method to actually retouch this image right here. And to follow along, I believe the link where you can download this raw file in the description below. And also, I believe the link where you can download all the actions I use for this image in the description below as well. Let's jump right into it. Now, once we open the image inside of Photoshop, just duplicate your layer by pressing on Ctrl J. And we are going to be using the focus separation method first. Alright. Now, just come to your action. After you finish installing that action, if you can find your action right here, come to your windows and click on actions right here. I'm just going to open and just click on focus separation. So if your image is 16 bits, click on focus separation 16 bits. If your image is 8 bits, click on focus separation 8 bits. Since this image is 16 bits, I'm going to click on focus separation 16 bits right here. Now pay close attention. The focus separation Gaussian blur radius you actually use plays an important or a crucial role on how smooth and how much details you want to keep on your image. Now, if I use a small blur radius, I'm not going to be keeping or retaining any details on my image or I'll be retaining less details on my image. While if I use a high focus separation blur radius, I'm going to be keeping much details or retaining much details on my image. Now, for this type of image, I'm going to be using a focus separation blur radius of about 7. 7 works for me. I'm going to click on OK. So just play with the focus separation Gaussian blur radius and see which one works for your image. Alright, so I'm just going to zoom in. Let me just hide this action right here. So inside this group, we have a high frequency copy, which consists of the textures, and we have a low frequency, which consists of the colors. Now we are going to remove the blemishes, and the blemishes are textures. So make sure this high frequency copy, which is this first one right here, is selected. Just pick your close time tool. Make sure your passing is set to 100. Your flow is set to 100. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sample from a close by area. So to sample, press alternate or option or your keyboard to sample and click from a close by area and just press the blemish to remove so you can see right now it's not working because this place right here is on current and below so make sure your sample is on current layer so make sure your sample is on current layer so i'm just going to undo that and this time press alternate to sample and just paint over the blemishes right there to remove it alternate to sample and paint over the blemishes like that to remove it so actually take your time to remove your blemishes from your image if you want to get a good result all right so I'm going to be doing this for the whole of this image. Press alternate to sample from a close by area and just paint on the blemishes to remove it. All right, so as you can see, we've removed the blemishes for this image. So these are before and are after, are before and after. Now the next step is to pick the mixer brush tool I want to use the mixer brush tool to even out the colors on this image. So with the mixer brush tool selected, you can use my settings up here or you can use any settings that works for you. So make sure this brush here layer is selected. Once this brush here layer is selected, make sure this high frequency texture right here is turned off. Once you turn it off, we are going to see only the colors on the image. So all you have to do is just brush with your mixer brush on the image. So make sure you are not brushing your highlights into your shadow or your shadow into your highlights. So just be careful when doing this and also make sure you are increasing and decreasing your brush size according to the part of the image you are actually working on. So if I want to work on this highlight on the nose for example right here, I'm just going to reduce my brush size to fix that highlight and just paint it on only that highlight on the nose. And if I want to work on a bigger portion, I'm just going to increase my brush size like that. And you can increase your brush size by using the square bracket key on your keyboard to increase and decrease your brush size just like that. So I'm going to be doing this for the whole of this image and you can actually see your before and after so you can see what you're doing if it's actually nice. So I'm just going to click it and show you the before and after so you can see what we've done so far. So this is the before and this is the after. Now you can see we've missed the color and we still have details on the image. So this is the before and this is the after. All right. So I'm not going to do this for the whole image. Okay. Make sure you are brushing shadows separately. Make sure you are brushing highlights separately. It's very, very important. And for the transition, you can just use a big brush tool to just mix the transition like that. So basically, we are just mixing the colors for this image like that. Okay. Okay. Now I feel it's good. So let's just see the before and after. So. These are before and these are after. Wow. These are before 
and this after you can see the image is looking good and we still have textures on the image just look at the textures on the image everything is still there all the details of the image are still there so the before and the after now this is the first method the focus separation method so this is how you can use focus separation to smoothen out your image and still have details on your image so let me just rename this one focus separation fs like this now let me show you how i can do it using micro dodge and bond so i'm going to be using the touch on me to do this so to remove the blemishes all i have to do is come to my filter right here click on retouch on me and just click on heal right here now this will automatically remove my blemishes for me i don't have to remove the blemishes manually all right it has done that so let me just zoom in so you can see the effect okay so this is the before and this is the after all blemishes gone i'm going to click on apply right here okay now i'm going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing on ctrl shift alternate e now let's just do the skin retouching with dodge and burn so come to your filter again click on retouch on me and click on dodge and burn right here now this will automatically do our dodge and burn for us so let me just zoom in so you can see the effect okay so this is the before and this is the after and with this blend right here you can just move the blend up to make the image more smooth to increase the intensity of the dodge and burn all right so i think um like this works for me so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after and just make sure soft light layer is selected and click on ok the result is really really amazing and all you have to do from here is just change it from normal to soft light now let me just group it so you can see so this is what the retouch on me did for us it moved the blemishes and did the micro dodge more for us so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after now, instead of doing it one at a time i actually have an action that i can play that will automatically remove the blemishes for me do my micro dodge and for me apply portrait volume for me which is global dodge and to give depth to the image and also try and remove the eye vessels for me now let me show you how that works now let me just delete this focus separation now my background layer selected i'm just going to press on ctrl j because my background layer come to my action and just click on retouch for me right here once i click on it all i have to do is relax and in less than one minute this image is going to be retouched for me automatically and i highly recommend you get this retouch for me plugin if you're actually making money off photography and retouching because it's quite expensive but believe me you're going to enjoy the results the result is amazing you are not going to go wrong because you're going to have a better result and at the same time saves you a lot of time all right so let's just allow it to load and let's see the results okay that's finished loading now if i just zoom in you can see what this does for me automatically so these are before and these are after are before and after and if you use the link in the description below you're going to get 20 percent off any purchase you make now that you know how to retouch your image without losing details what about color grading click here to watch 80 percent of color grading explained in 10 minutes i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative